curls. I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my hair today. It's Saturday, but I don't really have a lot going on. I've run all the errands that I need to run, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that because my hair is a hot mess, and I believe I skipped washing and conditioning my hair every Sunday like I normally do because I was running all over the place for Mother's Day. So today I'm actually going to try a different product for cleansing my hair. Um, you guys have heard me talk about Natural Love Hair and Body Buttercream. I love, love, love this stuff. It comes in all kinds of amazing scents. You can check out his two videos I have about this stuff. Amazing, amazing, and amazing on hair and body. Um, it is not water-based. So it, in the hair, it's a great, great sealer. Um, I said in one of my videos my hair felt moisturized for days so I don't want anybody to get that confused with this is not a moisturizer it is a sealant so whatever you use to moisturize your hair this will lock it in and it will stay moisturized for days so I just wanted to put some clarity on that just in case um, that might have been misconstrued in my video so the owner of that product was very nice to send me one of her new products that she's selling and it is um, the herbal I want to make sure I say the name she says because you know I'll be quick to mix something up. The Herbal Mud Wash is what it's called. Um, it comes in eight fluid ounces and it is nine dollars. You can get it in three different scents: lemongrass, tea tree, and peppermint. And I was sent the lemongrass. Um, just want to show you guys. Now I know I mentioned in other videos and I just had to keep 100. I'm not a great. I'm not big on lemongrass. But this lemongrass is actually not very strong, surprisingly. Everything else I've ever uh, experienced, lemongrass usually just overtakes you and it just stays. This really isn't too bad. But um, upon trying it out, if I'm going to reorder, I think I tried tea tree or peppermint. Just curious of what they're like. And this is the consistency. It's like a creamy mud, creamy mud. So it's based, it has some benzonite clay in here. So I'm very excited to try this product because I've never used anything clay-like before. I've read tons and tons of reviews about different people's clay washes and things like that. So I'm super excited to try this product and see. I've heard great things about a few people that have used it already about how um, their curls will pop in. So I am just so excited about using the product. So basically, and once I mix it, it smells even better. Like I'm getting the other ingredients in here. This is an all natural product too, which is awesome. Okay, and not to mention, I would like to say, I think you pronounce her name Shakina, and I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Shakina has great customer service. That is important, people. Great customer service. She ships your things really fast. She's a very sweet person, wanting to be, you know, accommodating to her customers because she knows we're spending our hard-earned money. So I like her personality and her attitude overall. So to love her product is just, you know, icing on the cake that she's just seems to be such a caring person about how her brand comes across. So I'm going to just show you guys how I'm going to apply this. Now I'm not sure if people do this differently or whatever. It's, it's to be used like a cleanser. I guess like you would use a shampoo. So I like usually when I shampoo my hair, I break it into four sections. So I'm going to stick with that. So you guys that have a lot of experience in using clay washes and such, maybe you can hit me up and tell me if y'all do it differently. Maybe I'll even do it on wet hair. I don't know. But I just prefer everything on dry hair. I don't know. Maybe because to me, I seem to be able, now this is going to sound really strange. Let me just tell y'all right now. But I'm, I'm strange sometimes. I just feel like I can manipulate my hair better when it's dry. And you know, with everything you've been taught, learned about natural hair and curly hair, you're usually told that it's really the opposite. That you know, your hair, it, you, curly hair, kinky hair, whatever, can be easily manipulated when wet. I don't find that to be true for me. My hair doesn't get, get what I couldn't s section it, nothing. It's just whatever. Okay. So I've sectioned into four sections that fast. I'm just going to take each section. And put, apply a little of this clay wash in it. I like the way it feels. It's super creamy. It's just going on. And um, to be honest with you, and it has a lot of Ayurvedic herbs in it. I really like the Ayurvedic stuff. You think I would look more into pronouncing it correctly since I like it so much? 
And it's like, y'all know I'm heavy handed on everything, but I'm just taking a little dab at a time. And it's, it's working through my hair pretty good. It really is. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I should have done this on wet hair. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Maybe we should have. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe I should have asked Shakina what I should have done. But I don't know. But it's not taking a whole lot. And I'm kind of using it. Applying it kind of like I do my henna. So what I'm going to do, I worked it in that section. I'm going to go ahead and dampen my hair just a little bit. And I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like fully applied everywhere. Give me a sec. Okay guys, I'm back. So I have distributed the clay um, mud wash, the herbal mud wash through my, my hair. And I'm going to show you guys just to give you an idea how much I used to fully distribute. If you look in there, see that showing through the top will show you pretty much from there how much you, I use. And that might be about a fourth of the jar. So I'll probably be able to get four or five applications out of this eight ounce jar. Like I said, once I kind of mix it up a little bit and start applying to my hair, it's more lemon, less grass, which is good for me because I'm not <laughs> big on lemongrass. It's more lemony. So it's not an overpowering lemongrass that I'm used to because usually lemongrass just really gets my head going like a headache. So it's not bad. Like right now it's in my hair. I'm not, it's not putting off a strong, strong scent. Now I, will I want to show you guys something in here. Part of the herbs. Do you see kind of like, you probably can't. But it's like some beading, like the mud, it looks like mud, it's probably the, the benzonite clay that's in it. They, that feels awesome on the scalp. It's like having little scrubbers. Because I do use a sugar scalp scrub from time to time on my scalp just for some light exfoliation. Because I have some air, problem areas in my crown, always have. And um, I like the way that felt, just, you know, being on my scalp scalp just like a light light scrub but much much finer from using um, a sugar scalp scrub so I just wanted to tell you guys about some of the ingredients it's a lot of Ayurvedic ingredients in here aloe vera juice it's a conditioner based in here and some honey so all really good things all natural um putting my hair was just like really soaking this stuff up like just eating it up I did go ahead and dampen the hair lightly in each section and that's how I would recommend you do it like I said I'm no avid uh benzonite clay user or anything like that but um i would dampen the hair because um it seems like then i didn't have to use as much some of the moisture from the water was stretching the product um as opposed to when i was putting it on dry um i wouldn't recommend soaking wet one section i actually really soaked the hair that kind of made it messy since it is a benzonite clay um that's pretty much with all the ingredients together ends up being ends up being a mud wash so that kind of got kind of messy when it was very very soaked so I would just lightly dampen the hair and then work it through. That seemed to be the best method to work the best. But just feeling my hair, it's just got my hair feeling very soft already. So I've decided that I'm just going to let it sit in my hair. Um, I don't know what benzonite clay rules is, but I'm, you know, since it has all these great ingredients in it, um, I'm going to kind of let it sit in my hair a little bit like I would a conditioner. I'm probably going to only do about maybe 20 minutes or so and just kind of let it sit in my hair. Let my hair t just take in all the great ingredients it has to offer and all the uh, ear vague things in it. So I will be back to show you my hair with the product rinsed out. Hi guys, I'm back and my hair is all good and rinsed out. And just to show you guys, no product has been put in my hair or anything yet. All I did was rinse out, it's still pretty dripping wet, to rinse out the herbal wash. Squeeze some of the water out. Just to show you guys, my hair feels very, very clean. Very, very clean. Because it had about a good bit of product on it before and I didn't do any pre-poo I didn't do my sugar scalp scrub none of that. and look as you can see it's very very defined it's very soft too very very soft so no pre-pooing no adding oils before cleansing none of that it's very soft it smells good I can more smell the lemon grass now than I could before I actually um was, was had to sit in my hair 
and I kind of um, had it sitting in my hair. Like I said, I don't have many experiences with benzenite clay. It might have sat in maybe 10 or 15 minutes. It started to tingle a little bit, I think, with the essential oils and all of that in it. Just trying to get that hair, but and then I rinsed it out maybe 10 or 15 minutes. But it's super defined, as you can see, and super, super soft. Like I could get like a good finger detangle. Just look at that. A good finger detangle going. And not have any problems whatsoever so this is natural loves herbal mud wash here is very very soft I just can't wait to see what it's like and it was very very easy to rinse out no problem rinsing it or anything like that but it's not tangled or knotted on the ends no uh, single strand knots or nothing like that so I'm really liking this so you guys, just give it a chance. Check it out. It's a very affordable product at $9 for 8 ounces. And like I said, um, I probably used a little bit more than I uh, should have. And I could probably get anywhere from 4 to 5 applications out of it. And this could, could be used in place of a um, shampoo or a cold wash. So I definitely am loving the product. Like I said, I had never used anything like this before. But it was a, a absolutely neat experience and my hair is just really super soft. And I just usually I'll use a comb to detangle, but I don't think I'm going to have to do that. Like any little um, tangles, pretty much got them all out just in that little short section. So, you guys, give it a try for yourself. But I like it, a new experience as a natural after three years. i would never tried any type of clay wash. So, until next time, guys, bye-bye.